Yo, what's going on everybody? Riot's here playing Ark Survival Evolved. Here I am on the Monster Hunter Survival Series. Look how freaking scary this place looks at night when you're just walking around using, actually using one of these flashlights right here on that table. So freaking spooky. Of course, if you're not in first person using it, then it's the derpiest thing, but we covered that last time. Look how crazy Thanos looks though, dude. We have the most insane freaking Nergagante I've ever seen in my life. And then when you turn the light off, it just, it goes all rainbow bridge on you. It's, it's freaking beautiful. It's, I'm so sorry, speaking about him like he's an object. Her, I mean, si Sim, him, man. Dude, it is spooky as hell around here. Oh my god, <laughs> everything is so terrifying in the darkness, like being slowly revealed by a light. Oh my god, even even the freaking swing set. Wait, no, that's not a s swinger swatter? Dude, I am having a stroke right now. Seesaw! Damn it, seesaw! See, but everything, whoa, dude. It's all so freaking spooky around here. Anyways, welcome to another episode of Ark Monster Hunter. I'm just freaking out over how cool this looks right now. Probably looking for, but even that, even his giraffe legs are slowly revealed. Oh my god, it looks so epic up there. All right, I'm gonna try and stay focused. Now, what's going on, guys? Riot's here. Welcome to another. My god, look how cool it looks over here. Welcome to another episode of whatever. Even catching a bunch of turkeys masturbating looks bananas. Anyways, what's going on, guys? Riot here. Welcome to another episode of Ark Monster Hunter Survival. Today, we're doing something epic. Like, yesterday was a fail. Don't worry, there's no chance of failing today. I'm p confident, positive we could, um,. We could overcome this. Yesterday wasn't even much of a fail. It was, it was more of an adventure, all right? It was, I wouldn't even call it a fail. Epic things happened. Because we didn't succeed in everything doesn't mean it was a fail. All right, so basically because Genesis is almost out, I'm freaking super excited for the creatures. That giant turtle that you could live on and everything sounds insane. So today we have our own giant turtle in here that we could live on and everything because I'm an anxious, like, man-child who can't wait for stuff. So here's the world turtle platform saddle. Easy to craft. The creature itself actually doesn't seem that difficult. It has about 150k torpor. I found one on the beach down over there. They actually spawn like hotcakes all over the place. So yeah, our new base is no longer going to be an island. I guess it will be an island still, but it's going to be a moving island, which is, it's a lot cooler than those stupid stay still islands. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to leave a like on the video. I, if you're watching this video, that means I haven't gotten a third copyright strike yet and I'm still alive. Otherwise, I don't really know how I'll contact you guys. I haven't figured that part out yet, but either way, I'm still alive right now. Also, because new chibis have been released, I downloaded this freaking chibi mod. Looks awesome. It has all these ones that there aren't typically chibis for, which is crazy. So we got the griffin. I think the griffin already exists, though. Those goddamn turkeys! Going losing my mind with those. So the Basilisk, Chibi Broodmother, Chibi Mech, Chibi Moza, Chibi Volanosaur, Chibi Ice Titan, Lead Siege This, and Desert Titan. These all seem freaking insane. I think I'll probably skip the Griffin because that's actually in Ark, but I assume you have to have like, I don't know, you probably have to be in the water to have one of these. See, in the, I saw like these images for it, and in the images, the Mech looks like the coolest one by far. I'm sure the Titans, I didn't see the Titans though. The Titans are probably crazy looking. Alright, so we'll get these two, the Chibi Mech, Mosasaur, Velanosaur can eat my butt, Ice Titan, Leech, the Itch, actually I'd rather just try the Mose out, and then Desert Titan, let's just try these ones out right here, and then, god I love that freaking lights. Alright, so I just, I'm just gonna see what happens if we could, um, oh wait, can we just kinda, there we go. If it flies next to us, then, I honestly don't think I'll pick the Mosasaur even if it flies next to us, that's not like what I, if it can, can it? No, I, I'm so freaking derpy, I can't even judge it. I guess it just kind of swims next to us. I kinda, does it flop? I think that was us flopping. I guess it's cool. It kind of, it's, 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 I don't know. I, I have no idea how I feel about this. <laughs> it looks really freaking cool, but the fact that it can't swim on land kind of breaks the whole vibe for me. These are the ones I'd imagine would be my favorite. So I'm just going to start with, like, we're not doing a mod review where I go through everything. Let's just go th straight to the awesome stuff. So it's either between the freaking Desert Titan, the Ice Titan, or the Mech. I'm not putting a name to them until we decide. Oh, that's pretty freaking cool. The, the light is what's killing you now, damn it. I really like that light too. It's so dark otherwise. So the backup light. I mean, that's pretty freaking cool flying next to you. It looks like an intelligent little alien. Uh, dude, this is gonna be a tough decision, isn't it? This is gonna be one of those like thinkers where we have to vote down below. Although, cause I'm gonna stick with one generally so it levels up a bunch. Oh, see, this is just super freaking awesome. Look at the little mech buddy following us around everywhere. It's like having a little personal robot that just, I guess, kind of keeps us company for the most part. Look at that little fella. See, I, oh, damn it, this is going to be a tough decision. And then, of course, the final one, final contestant. Hmm. This is a pretty close one. This one almost seems derpy, though. Like, like its movement speed isn't, isn't fast enough for its actual how fast it's moving, so it looks kind of derpy. 
Although its legs are hustling right there, though. Uh, damn it. This is the hard. I think I'm just honestly, for now, unless we get some huge revolution down below in the comment section that demands something else, I think right now we're going to keep the little mech buddy with us. The little mech buddy sidekick today. I mean, not today, forever. And we're gonna name him Odin because I don't know, dude. I, I <laughs> if I like something, I name it Odin, and then if I if I have to breed with it, I name it Scarlett Johansson. I'm a simple guy. In every series, Odin ships. Okay, he doesn't always have to be a dog. He's just the thing we currently care for most in the world. And right now, that's this little fella. All right, I'm happy with this. I think we've made good decisions so far in this episode. We haven't even really began the episode. This creature is spectacular. I don't even want to level it up again. I'm sure it just gets prettier every time, but like, how could something possibly get prettier than this? It just can't. It simply can't. That's why Rainbow Road is this color. It, and it's not even just rainbow. It's like constantly swaying universal. It looks like, what's it? Dormammu. Oh, God damn it. Hang on, crap. Can we, guys, can someone, should we name it Dormammu? Oh, shoot balls. I feel like we kind of have to re- I'm gonna go ahead and plant it. I feel like it's time to rename Thanos. I feel like some people definitely said that in the comment section before anyways. Though this could happen underwater now? Are you freaking kidding me? That's terrifying. What the fuck? There's gonna be like great white sharks and stuff. Hammerheads becoming intoxicated with god- God, there's underwater storms. I gotta peek. I gotta see what this looks like. Wow, is that anticlimactic? Is it just- Is it just- What? Huh? What? Whoa! Get the hell out of there, that's scary. Freaking <laughs> lightning. <laughs> nope, lightning and thunder from underwater. That's not how I roll. Okay, so we are renaming Thanos. He's no longer purple. Thormammu? I think I'm spelling it correctly. Thorma that seems pretty freaking correct. Thormammu is a pretty big badass, you know? Like, I just watched Doctor Strange again last night. And he's he's like a, he's a tough cookie. I, go I feel confident with that name. It's not naming him after some weenie. The only way he could ever possibly be defeated was by, like, Doctor Strange just spawn killing himself repeatedly until he got bored. That's, that's pretty much how I'd be defeated also. <laughs> okay, so it spawned up here before? Yeah, see, I think this is just for giant crap spawns, because this is also where Varen spawned. Varen was a tough cookie. It's only level 80. I will admit that is kind of poofy, considering it just goes much higher, like we found, like, a level 350 Nergagante before. It does have 700k health at level 80 though, and it's not like we don't have a giant upgrade thing over there that can't make stuff infinitely stronger than we currently have it. So I'm kind of fine with like this level, it's like we could always make it. By the time we're done with it, it'll have like 30 million health anyways. Now, the other part of this, little freaking sketchy, how we go about- No! No. Okay, you could start by not freaking clicking E, you idiot. Why is it so easy to just dismount off stuff? Now I got sweaty palms because I'm all scared I'm gonna die. Great. That's just fantastic. Okay, the rest of you nerds can go in here. Let's just go ahead and we'll give one of those to Crisco or see which one he wants. Not, not getting not getting Odin, damn it. Where are you, buddy? You okay? You safe? I see no reason why this can't work. Yeah, I, I definitely see no reason now. It's still a turtle. It's gonna be slow as hell. I mean, a giant turtle, nevertheless. But a turtle, nevertheless. You know, we could. He's running. Sissy. I don't know if we want a house that runs away, you know. It's like the world turtle's not massive enough to build a giant mega base on, but you can still build a pretty nice sized base. And that pretty much equates the same one we see in the Genesis trailer too, because obviously you can't have giant world breaking turtles all over the place. It would just shatter existence. Everything cool over here? It still takes my darts like five minutes to get to him. He runs away, what a bastard! If he makes it to the ocean, we'll never see him again. Or is he just turning around to attack us? That's definitely what it is. He's just so big, he's got such a massive turn radius. Or is he running? I don't even think he knows what the hell he's doing. See, now he's definitely charging at us. That much is certain. Actually, a lot faster than I thought he would. He's got moves for a big heavy guy. Oh my god, that gold outline right there? Why is it gold? That's so freaking cool. I've been getting re into Jurassic World Alive lately just because, I don't know, a new movie's coming out. I haven't really touched Jurassic World Alive in like a year, and I want to have every every single thing before the movie comes out. And um, so if anyone out there plays it a bunch, actually, it means a group. We have like 10 openings. So now when I see a gold dinosaur, part of me is like, oh, so that's, that's what happened there, if anyone's wondering. The psychology behind what you just witnessed. I mean, this is gonna take a fat minute, but it's completely doable. I guess taming everything in Ark takes a fat minute, though. What the hell? Ah! That was the that was a manly scream, all right? I'm tired of people saying I scream like a woman. I scream like a woman if that woman screamed like a man. 
And I'm standing by that. That's my final stance on this whole woman screaming Johnny thing. I scream like a woman? It's the manliest damn woman I've ever heard, alright? She's beast. I would not mess with her. Is, okay, I swear, I have plenty of darts in freaking Dormammu, but I swear to God, if this ends up being some freaking wild goose chase situation, where he just vanishes into the ocean or something, oh my god, and then he hits that underwater storm, and then we have just another freaking giant problem on our hands. No. No! Hang on, there's like some alt F7, F7 something, something is F7, shift 7, shift alt 7, there we go, there we go, now I got you open, you bastard. All right, we're gonna freaking just destroy all these. This, this might crash the server right now. Please, for the love of God, don't crash the server. But I'm, I'm deleting everything right now. That freaking corrupt stuff. Something I usually should do. But this is happening. I'm trying to click it out slowly because if you do it all at once, it's supposed to crash the whole world. I swear to God, if this guy turns, though, I'm gonna freaking be so mad. It's like every monster so far. This dude is actually insanely massive. We can build a ve- oh, Don't you even think about it. What the hell's going on over here? Giant squid meeting spot? S plus spyglass reveals so many weird things in this game. My god, this thing is ginormous, dude! Please freaking run the other way, though. Why aren't I registering? Why aren't none of these registering? Oh god. Please don't freak- oh, oh my god, my own chief, scared the crap out of me. That's gotta be a new low right there. Oh, thank god this guy's actually easy to herd, though. Whichever way you shoot him, he just runs the opposite. Usually, I'm very, it's actually very freaking annoying, to be honest. But, like, sometimes it's beneficial. I just gotta keep hurting him away from creatures in a... The hell? It's just a MOA, alright? It's just a, It's because it's Valentine's Day. It's all... Or it's not... It's whatever. The week of? I don't know how long these events go for. No! I gotta get in front of the bastard! He's getting to the ocean! He's get, Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, 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 God. No, don't go that way either. That's also ocean. You are exhausting. It's like trying to keep a giant baby from drowning itself. Go the other way, idiot! Can you register, please? For the love of Christ? For the love of all that is Johnny? Okay, that's gotta be blasphemy to say. It's so scary! But then you see he's just running away from you. I've grown to not be afraid of the guy, because I know he, he's got no squabble with me. He just runs away. He's a weird guy. A really weird turtle. I think it's just like supposed to be some ancient mega species that generally likes to avoid conflicts. Can't wait till someone comments down below, Ryan, build a trap for him. You guys expect me to build a trap? He just walked up this hill. There's some stuff that just simply cannot be trapped. That's just the way it goes, man. There are untrappables out there. Okay, see, this is what we call the perfect freaking situation right here. This dude is not going in. His head's also in the freaking. Urgh, you bastard. I guess I can go down there. No harm, no foul. I guess he could just escape through this whole underpassageway, too. Never mind, this way isn't so special at all. It's like maybe we have a cage. Because it would literally take a cage like this big to. I never disconnected. To, to keep this bastard contained. It's just an impossibility. I don't know why that didn't hit. Whatever. At least this Torpor goes down. Virtually not like it's it's so freaking slow. It basically doesn't go down at all. Can I just like I was really hoping it would glitch through Dude if I had a freaking dollar for every time one of the there we go That's what I'm talking about and it's on I still am not 100% sure if the creature does trample damage So I try and stay the hell out of its way because I just seems like freaking suicide right there I'm So happy you find the exit so easily, but he doesn't freaking walk past me unless I'm covering the exit no! Oh, thank you, God! It turned last second. Holy crap! Why are you gold? What does this mean? What does this mean that you're gold? Does that mean that's a very rare creature? Because green means friendly, red means hostile, white means nothing. What does gold mean? It's got to mean very rare creature. It's just got to. There's no other way. Crap balls! The creature has finally got into a bad place. It was bound to freaking happen. I guess just our ability to tame this creature comes down to our ability to clear out a freaking neighboring spot. Get over here, buddy! Terrible. Terrible response time. I could have been dead by now, man. Jesus Christ, you gotta think it through! See, he's just over here by all the evil stuff. By all the evil stuff, I mean it's like Apex, Valentine- what? I mean, I understand the need for Valentine's events. It just will forever confuse me, kind of, that we have this kind of stuff. We just gotta kill these freaking things. These things are the devil. They were literally always, always afraid of around here, but they've, like, done horrible things to us in many episodes. What did it just kill that looked like a... What are you killing over there? Oh, you're eating your brothers, you savage! 
Jesus Christ. I guess no, and this thing too. I was afraid of this thing also. These things are strong as hell. I will not partake. Ah, oh, mm-hmm. Yep. A boogie boogie. And more giant copies and another big card up. I'm so happy we went and got the freaking Nergigante. Which, by the way, if you guys have noticed, definitely looks prettier than it did before with its, like, animations and stuff. It's so much cleaner. I don't know. Now when it lands and stuff, it's all very fluid. Okay, see, I talk a lot of smack about Valentine's Day color stuff in Ark because it just feels like a very random thing to do with dinosaurs. Whoa, that lag was crazy. But, whoa, what's up with this lag? What, what, what the hell's going on over here? I talk a lot of smack, though, until you flash me a Valentine's Day pink freaking Shantu. And that right there is a hard thing to turn down. That is a good looking beast. Oh wow, how perfect is this? Because we were going to need some freaking, I guess not rare flyers for him, but I need to turn those down. We were going to need some fruits and stuff to tame this bastard. Wait over here. Oh lord! Oh lord! Oh lord! This is the kind of crap I was talking about, Nergi, right here, bud. Get your ass over here! Are you kidding me right now? No! Nergi! Unbelievable! I'm so not feeding you after this. You're not getting lunch for a week. No, that seems rude. No need to starve the creature just because of my own inability. It was a, it was something said in the hatred, Thormabu. Oh god! Oh god! Oh no! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Okay, shift, shift seven, shift control seven, shift. Dude, get your freaking corrupt crap out of here, buddy. Just clean up. Run an entire cleanup. Just get 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 out of here. Get all of it out of here. Can't trust any of it. Mutation towers. Get those out of here, dude. I hear oh, there's one of them near freaking by. If you guys are wondering why there's a lot of parts of this without face cam, it's because I turned it off while taming, because it could take for it could just take hours generally. This dude could not have landed somewhere with more freaking Velotosaurus. I mean this <laughs> this freaking this freaking world turtle is just trying to get me just shot by so many neighboring creatures. I've never seen so many Velodosaurus randomly spawning. They don't even freaking target Nergigante. They're just bastards. But they will target me if I'm on foot. It's the whole thing. I'm surprised he even just found an area where this many even exists. Like, God, what a, like, what a God-given talent to inconvenience me right there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh ho ho ho! Turn the camera on, Johnny. I, I can't believe he just freaking went to sleep right there. He's not even that. He's at 142 out of 143. I was about to turn the camera back on. I was just destroying that freaking tower right in front of him that he was headed to because literally the second we go out of frame rate, more towers spawn. I must have done that at least a thousand times. Like destroying the towers before you get to them. That's that's the freaking strat right there. It's so cleared out. And it's not even cheaty. That's literally a command that anyone can do with this mod. I guess it has to be admin enabled though. But it's specifically for that kind of thing. You need to last minute destroy stuff before it does some crucial, horrible thing to your world. We did it! Oh my god! I just freaking ran around following this thing for- Oh look, it's already re-freaking spawning over there. Hang on. Gotta keep this- Get out of here. Get the hell out of here. I'm running the cleanup, but it's not despawning. It's so freaking buggy, honestly. It's all so terrifying. Nevertheless, look at the size of this turtle! This beast! Oh my god, you are about to- carry so much of my crap it's insane all right so the beast has been acquired i this is just gonna be the most uncomfortable going back home situation ever unless we do it one by one i imagine we can't all do it together we gotta freaking i'll bring these guys through and then we're gonna come back from the turtle then we can go. he doesn't even look that big when you're on nergigante funny enough but the thing about nergigante is he is freaking huge especially in, the, in this game he's even more beast than he is i think in the actual game yeah, with Rodan right there, this would have been the worst situation on the planet bringing him through. We're about as big as Dormammu's foot, to put it all into perspective. He's a pretty big fella. Getting a bit of lag right here. What's that about? Freaking wild deer, I swear to God. Ever since the deer... Okay, it's still going to be a little tight, I imagine, when we bring him through, but... It's worth a shot. I mean, obviously, we're doing it either way. We could finally have a freaking mobile base area. We could make mobile Jurassic Park if we wanted to. The size of this beast, my god! Yeah, it might be a little cramped at first, but we'll make it work. It's gonna be hard fitting a base inside of a base, right? It's like base sex right there. Oh my god! Alright, here we go. World, world Turtle, World Turtle Saddle. I'm freaking delirious at this point, dude. I just spent so long shooting at this freaking guy over here. I mean, there's, I'm, I'm sure someone down below is gonna comment a better way we could've gone about that, to be honest, but oh my god! That was insane. 
Oh my god, we appear to have some intruders spawning over there. Can't take a see, this is why we have the Jurassic Park fences. Look at them being stunned too. Idiots. What the hell is going on over there? There's a whole flock of freaking... What? 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 What the shizzle? What the hell is going on with spawns around here? Why is there giant flocks of... What the hell's been going on in there? Dude! What what happened to the um to the to the freaking subscriber cage, bro? What did they was one of them breeding? And I'm so freaking confused right now because there was a bunch of llamas in here, right? I get that much. I'm with you right up until the llama part. But now there's and there's like but they're all I, they're they're all they're they are everywhere, bro. I am very confused right now with the situation. They all seem to be weak too, like they were freaking something. What? Wait, yeah, they're babies. Because I can claim them. Oh, I've made a big boo boo. Oh boy, I've done a thing. Well, let's just go ahead and close. Oh crap, we got other things to worry about. Hang on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Talk about a screw up right there, horny bastards. I'll leave you alone for a little bit. Get the hell out of here! Something's going on here though. Stuff never spawned here before. This guy's caught against the electric fence. Go ahead. I'd like to see you start a fight with those deer over there. Those things are crazy. What a wild way to have your base defended. Just a bunch of freaking wild deer kicking the crap out of everything. And then a giant snuggle monster comes and backs everyone up. Alright, you're on security now, buddy. He loves making us proud. He'll happily handle this quadrant. Just have a seat and be ready for trouble. God, I love this Ark world so much. What do we even name a world turtle? Scarlett Johansson? No, damn it, Johnny! All right. I assume we're gonna need some more movement speed. Here we freaking are. I wonder how far we can expand this thing outwards. I'm so happy I covered the whole island in fences. The over here will work. Can we just kind of walk over? Oh my God, it's so loud. Holy sheep shagging Christ, that is loud. All right, we don't really, oh, we freaking swim perfectly. Keeps our base right above, while the rest of us down below, doing whatever the hell we want. We can descend, also, I guess we could bring it underwater, just kind of generally. It's just nice that without pressing any button, it stays floating exactly where we freaking need it. This is, I can definitely work with this right here. Yo, what's going on guys? Ryan's here. This is like two hours freaking later. I've built a giant base on top of the turtle. I'll show you guys in a second. We do have an issue though. The deer, something is broken with them and they are wild spawning like crazy. Don't worry if anything dies in there. I have every person who's ever donated to the freaking Australia charity written down on this paper. So no one's forgetting forgotten. But this is like the biggest problem I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna defeat them all. We're gonna feed them all. It's totally fine. It's fine. They should all be coming to us. There's, 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 there's billions of them over there for some reason. I have no idea what the hell is going on around here. This is insane. I've never had a server break from over spawning deer before. Watch it just break right out from this. Oh my god. Yeah, we're definitely killing some freaking friendly, uh, friendly deer. There. We're just killing everything right now, but don't worry. We have everyone who ever donated right here written on this piece of paper. No one is being forgotten. Let's just get rid of name tags and see what the hell's going on down here. It's just the biggest get down there ever was. I don't even know what the hell I'm tangled up on right now. This is craziness. The lag is going down though. Oh my god, I can't believe this has happened. I am the most irresponsible person to ever have a bunch of animals ever. I was wondering what was happening to the frame rate. This makes sense. I don't know what the hell happened, but this makes sense, man. Is there a creature running out of stamina? No, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. All right, the frame rate is officially freaking dropped down to normal. Uh. Jesus, holy hell, merciful Christ, I can't believe this has all happened. They're still not even all defeated yet. Look how many levels freaking Xerxes has just gotten off these guys. We're gonna have to completely get a new cage now for everyone who donated to Australia. Again, I have everyone's name and keep saying it because I don't want anyone to think that their creature was just deleted. I mean, it technically was, but I'll make new ones, don't you worry. All right, let's just finish off the stragglers. I don't even know who the hell was making all these things, dude. This is insane how this took place. Now there's just one of them left. What? Look at these piles. I don't know who the hell's making them all. What? Okay, the server is clearly freaking freaking out still. All babies must be finished off as well. We gotta stop this at the freaking root. Total vi- What is going on out here? 
This is the weirdest situation. I've never had this problem before. You were llamas. All right, it's just a few more stragglers. I think if we just, if they all freaking killed every one of the subscriber pets. Like, this is actually crazy. I should not be in charge of anything. How did this even happen? All right, so I think they're all officially dead. Except for some maybe in the back over there. I don't know what the hell is up with these creatures. They seem to be some other kind of crazy deer. I, don't, I honestly don't know. Like, I, I, they're, I, I've never seen this sort of thing happen before. I've never actually left the creature on wonder and then gotten freaking swarmed by, like, a billion of a species. That's... This is insane. I feel like they were able to breed with each other naturally once they grow up or something, and there was just so many... I I'm honestly open to any opinion when anyone thinks happened down below. I'm very curious how to avoid this situation for the whole rest of my life. The last... The last little dirtbag in here. Oh my god. What a crazy... Oh, nope, nope. Everyone must go. Last little child. Okay. And we're fine. And we're, there's still like a few wild ones, I guess, all around the place. Where the hell are all these babies? This is getting insane, bro. To catch you guys up, I'm not even 100% sure how that happened. Let's just get rid of this freaking tower. Just, ever just clean this crap up right now. I have no room for extinction stuff. But yeah, look, there's even still boobies. Hang on. It's really important to me that we destroy them all. To catch you guys up, basically for the past hour or so, or hour, I guess almost two hours because I did eat dinner while doing it too, I've been building a base, at least the base so far, up on top of this war turtle. Or world, world turtle, which does need a name. Oh my god. No survivors. They're like a freaking virus. They must be completely destroyed. But then I couldn't hear anything out of the game, so I tried fixing the audio a bunch, and I ended up just restarting ARC. And that's when I noticed I just unplugged my headphones, and I'm a freaking genius. And then when I got back in the game, the frame rate was just like complete dookie. Whoa. That's a cool looking octopus right there. The, the, the frame rate was just complete dookie, and it was because basically sometime during that restart, like there was not that many. Whoa, it looks so cool when you fly by. There was not that many deer when I logged off. It was just an audio problem. It's like the weirdest thing just happened. There's one more. One more came back. These things are a virus upon my land. I've never seen such insanely hostile freaking deer before. All right, so welcome to the World Turtle Base. Now, I'm not sure this can be expanded or if we could just change it into any settings. I'm sure we maybe possibly could. There's more of them. There's more freaking deer. Oh my god, they're all still if I turn on the spyglass. It's actually terrifying what's happening here. There's, I never would have thought of all things that would freaking destroy our base. It'd be dear, but it is, dude. This is crazy. All right, anyways, welcome to this. Now, this is as much as we could build on top of here. Actually, I'm sure we could put more structures, but I tried building it like three more foundations or three more ceilings out on both angles, and then we did hit too many freaking, I guess, just too many structures on this, on this platform. So I'm sure we could increase it, though. Either way, it's still pretty nice as it stands. I love it. Unfortunately, we couldn't put a roller coaster on here. I did try. They cannot be placed on platform saddles, which is pretty lame, but I don't know. We'll figure out other epic stuff. This is kind of just my house so far as it stands. My bed, my stuff. We have doors, even though, I don't know, it's just nice to be safe. Another thing that kind of freaking killed me inside, which sucked a lot of poop, was we can't really have these freaking electric fences down, which would have just been so cool. They have to be, yeah, it requires placement on floor, because we're not on the exact floor. Also, sorry if I sound really tired. I've been building for like two or three, oh, almost three hours since the last time you guys saw me. Here's our little food area. I think these are bodies just kind of snuggled up, which is freaking terrifying. Oh, this one's a pteranodon. Whoa. So these ones are humans. That, wow, that is, I've never seen that so close. That's so trippy. This is just some regular crap. I don't know. I tried to make it look just as homey as possible. It's pretty nice little situation we got here. I think eventually I'm gonna do something going on back here because this is my little hangout private spot where I just think about the world. Oh my god. Does he really just sit on our lap? Oh no, he kind of just awkwardly, awkwardly phases through us, but he's still awesome. I love the little mech. My god, I've been recording this episode for like freaking like six hours. This is crazy. All in all, it looks pretty fantastic when we're out and about. I think it all holds tight. Oh my god, it's so loud. Like this should work out plentiful, right? Oh my god. Obviously, we could change the base and, like, we'll put a bunch of trees and, like, sand and stuff up here. Because Eco has a bunch of mods where you could even place water blocks and have your own ponds. She has koi pond mods now, actually, too. This is just basically, because I, I was, I had to make it a little fancy today. There was, obviously, at least a little. Okay, come on. You gotta. Can it not just kind of stay? We have a little bit of a sinking issue right here. Also, the world seems to be crashing because it's not crashing, but lagging for sure. I guess somebody has to constantly keep the creature up for it to stay above the water. That part does kind of suck, but whatever. 
I mean, Crisco could be driving a night. Oh, we need a swing set. Damn it. That's exactly what we're missing. Then we come up over here and it's just like base over here. I'm, I'm, I'm so freaking excited over this world turtle. I was going to end this series when Genesis started, but now there's no way I'm going to end it when Genesis started or starts. If anything, we'll just give kind of a little break and then we'll come back to this because the series is just becoming way too special for me. There he is, dude. There's the freaking Forest Titan. He's just gonna... Oh, we were gonna fight the Forest Titan today. Oh my god, I got totally sidetracked. I feel like I got sidetracked doing the best stuff, though. Like, we have the most awesome, and then if you just... We're so high up. We're above everything. This is, this is actually the coolest base I've had in a while. I love it, dude. I freaking love it. This is so exciting. I wonder if this is bigger than the foundation we believe we get to use for the Genesis creature. I don't know. I don't know how big that turtle's gonna be, but on the photo, the house isn't that big for it, but... I'm sure once we have mods, it could just be infinite. What the hell? All right, now I just need ideas down below for all this stuff, because this is just a little starter, how we're going to have it, a little small community. I'm going to make this look so much freaking cooler on here. With all the eco mods, we could literally make it look like a little island if we want to. There's, there's unlimited possibilities. This is very exciting. Yay, it's nice to have stuff that's really fun and to look forward to it. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here because I am so freaking tired. I probably sound so stupid now. At least my voice sounds different, something, because it, it's pretty late now. I'm not, this is how we get down, by the way. I think I'll maybe put a giant ladder. I don't know, I might, or a giant ramp. I'll figure it out. Because I was testing this out. We actually can't put this up there either because this would have been really freaking cool. This giant, like, whale base thing, but it was phasing against my other buildings. And the ramp doesn't fit. The ramp's from a different mod, so we'll need a different ramp. But... This is the ra Oh god, it looks so cool from over here. Dude, it looks freaking incredible. This series is coming together so nicely. Urgh, don't tell me it's- I, I actually, no, I'm pretty sure it's even on both sides. It just sticks out a little more because of the structures. Yeah, which is fine. Like, I can't freaking- if the structures are- if it's- it's- get, something's bound to be a little uneven, okay? I don't think that should trigger anyone's OCD. Hopefully it shouldn't. But yeah, make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys want to see more. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace!